Welcome back. We have understood how to use our IDLE and how to execute our Python programs in multiple ways, right? So we have seen with command line window, we have seen with IDLE graphic window, we have also seen with directly from command, I mean system prompt, okay? Now, other important thing lies, how are we storing our input and how do we get the output, right? So there comes the concept of variables because variables, if you generally think in real world sense, just because the advantage of Python programming is, as Python is a general purpose programming language and we have seen some wide app, wide ad applications and so many, so many websites are even built in Python. If you take up the example of Google, for their web search system they use YouTube, Netflix, Instagram and you see NASA website, Intel, Pixar, NSA website and Formula App, JP Morgan for financial marketing, so many ways, right? It's all about how do they use the amount of data because generally the data will be in image format, text format, numeric format and the best programming language to work on any kind of data is Python, right? So to understand that, for, you need to be very clear what is, what do you mean by variable? It's simple, we people say variable is like a named memory location where we try to store the data. Right? That is pretty much easier to understand and, and but what happens and how do we relate that thing from C programming, Java and Python. Let me use my pain tool and make it simple because I wanted to make every point simple. Suppose generally if I would like to take a variable A is storing the value 1, right? You can't directly declare this in C and Java because you write something like int A because you are telling that as an integer and you end up with semicolon that is mandatory but how does this is internally being treated simple it takes in the format of right it understands that whenever you are giving a is equal to 1 it is basically treating the value as 1 is being stored in a you treat that as a box because variable is some kind of memory or container where you try to store the values the, the same definition even applicable for Python but it, it refers in a very similar way where it allows in the format of or it visualizes in the format of tags when you give up a is equal to 1, uh, oops, when you, when you give up a is equal to 1 in Python it does, it, it means that it treats in the format of an object like a is pointing to because it's in this way, it is tagging in the format of, it is representing where 1 is created in the memory and it is of integer class, automatically it aligns where you need not declare in C and Java. That is the main advantage because explicitly, I mean implicitly you need not declare the type of it. Here it is storing in the format of a container and the same thing applies for variables in Python also but they are dynamically typed. That means what to do? Directly open your Python IDL and let's explain it because this is the variable name. If you see the example here, first number is a variable name and 10 is the assigned value where we are assigning our value towards the right side and the variable name is the left side because we also call them as an identifier where we try to identify the values, okay? So let me open my IDL and show you. You can either use your scripting mode or Editor, I mean interrupt, interpreter mode, it's up to user interest. Suppose if I give a is equal to 25, that means a is an object of integer class. Because I did not tell that a is an integer, but let me give you a hint which we will be discussing clearly about typecasting. Type is nothing but which type it stores. When I give type of a, see you need not tell it as integer. If you try to represent in C language like this int a, it's not acceptable. You need not go in this way because automatically type will convert and again if you try to change it into float a equal 2.5 because you know 2.5 is a float value right. Again check the type when you go for type of a it's gone again see that is how dynamically it changes even you directly write a or you also go for print of a because it gives you the same result because as we are using the I mean in, in the interpreter mode you need not save anything, you need not worry about it because automatically it's auto saved. You see, you see a star symbol here, the star symbol in the sense we are trying to execute something, when you see the output the star symbol will be going in, going in the top, 
if you want to save it you can just save but it is not editable so it's better if you want to pick up a file save as but my point is simple when we understand the data types and other related things we'll be using our interpreter mode it's fine you just write your own piece of code you just understand and if you, and there comes you see our, our input is in always black color our output is in blue color whatever we see and these built-in functions are violet color and you can see error in the red color always just follow the color coding make it simple that is the beauty of python ideally that is the reason i always suggest a person whether is a working employer student only to go with python ideally you can do much wonderful things with only python ideally don't ever ever think of anaconda or pycharm visual studio yes they'll be helpful once they are very good once you are very good at foundation something like if your pillar is not strong your house will collapse right the same thing happens here just make it simple and even if you wanted to find out the memory location that's where id comes into picture so id will return the identity of an object so everything is considered as an object in python that is a memory location and again if you try to change a is equal to 25 again you check the id of a you see the value keep on changing because that is a float value this is a integer everything changes over here so this is how you create a variable but there are some set of rules right the rules include you cannot start up with a number like this you cannot start up with a number as a variable name suppose what happens you see you cannot start your variable with a number uh, but you can start up with a even an underscore even underscore is treated as a variable because i have given some set of naming conventions here your variable name should start with a letter or underscore where you cannot use some set of keywords as your variable names what are those keywords let me explain you because those keywords play a very key role when you try to understand the importance of defining a term defining a variable what are those keywords before going into keywords let's do one simple thing as it as python variables are case sensitive because python is a case sensitive language something like if i write age is equal to 26 okay by mistake you made a as capital letter and it comes it as name error see in the starting itself we are seeing errors because syntax error will tell you i told you variable should not start with a number but can start with a underscore as even python is case sensitive so you cannot make sure that a is small letter so never ever make sure that you would make it as capital letter because name error what do you mean by name you did not define it right so name error that is not defined that particular variable is not defined so wherever you get name error just cross check what is the variable name always your variable you get black color your output is blue color so case sensitive and you can start with underscore but and also you can give it as a mix of numbers like this some dummy things whatever you wanted to give you're just assigning it and you can just call up them you can easily get the result you can make it as mix of alphabets and numbers but should not start with number and should not start with any other special characters only special characters allowed is underscore that is the beauty of python and there are some set of keywords in python where you cannot use them as variable names function names or ident function names or class names to get the list of keywords let me give the shortcut to get the list of keywords we generally use a shortcut as help if you want to know anything in python you can just give help of keywords it will generate the list of all keywords right so these 9 3 27 27 plus 8 35 so these are the 35 keywords where we'll be using an entire python and believe me or not you just if you have just understood all these keywords you can make much more things in python it python programming always all includes only usage of these keywords because if you're aware of other programming languages true and false are boolean and or not logical operators if else elif conditions for l for while and define is for functions for while is for control statements 
I mean loops, everything. So these are the keywords which you cannot use as a variable name. What happens if you use as a variable name? I'll prove it. So if you write false is equal to 25, simple, syntax error clearly tells you that you cannot assign to a keyword. What you can do? Python is case sense to write. You can change capital F to small f. There you go. You can do it. Same example false and in because in is a membership operator which will be learning. You cannot use it. It gives invalid syntax. Define. You see color changes. Whenever you use a keyword color is changing to orange color. So never ever use these keywords as variable names or function names whatever you try to give. So you will get an error obviously. So help of keywords will give you the list of all keywords. So we have understood how to create a variable and what do you mean by variable? Simple variable is a name memory location where you try to store some input. Right? The same concept arises in C, Java, C++ where you see it in the format of container but in type of Python it visualizes it in the format of how you try to tag the values because A is equal to 5, A is an object of integer class. So in that way, so these are the keywords where you try to make sure that just give help of keywords, you need not remember any of the keywords, just go with the shortcuts, that is the beauty of Python which will easily make you understand. So remember, you cannot use these keywords, just go with the color coding, keywords are always orange color, input is in black color, output is in blue color, a red color is with the error and the comments which you give. So now, we will try to understand how do we go for typecasting in the next video.